Hey, thanks for stopping into Two Star Garage today. Today, we've got a 20 ton shop press. It's an H frame on the floor that we're gonna put together. Let's get right to it. All right, here it is. It's Northern Tool Equipment. Item number 89156. Same as the skew. This is an iron ton, 20 ton shop press, heavy duty steel H frame for strength and precision. 18 and 5 16 inches wide. That's uh, the inside bed dimensions. 5 and 7 8 stroke. Work range 0 through 27 and 15 16 includes solid steel press plate. It's kind of a little preview of what it looks like. Let's take this apart and get it together. If you're doing this, you can see, take a little bit of time, get everything organized, all of your contents. So, got all the steel parts. Looks like we've got all the nuts and bolts, other hardware, keep moving forward. All right, so we're ready to begin. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got the holes down here towards the bottom, two holes on each side at the top. We're gonna take this odd looking piece Lay it right down inside here. You're going to use your four bolts, or actually right here. These are labeled as number 21. You're going to use these to install this bracket between your two heavy duty uh, stands. For the nuts for these, you're gonna have four of these as well. So that's one easy way to identify them. You've got four and four. Here's your four, four bolts. You got two on this side, two on the other side. These four bolts are 19s. And I'm not going to tighten them down all the way yet. Okay, now we're gonna grab the top. This is upside down. Your jack presses right down into the circular uh, container, I guess, whatever you wanna say. Holds it in there. So far, this feels pretty heavy duty. Very heavy duty, actually. Pull it together, make sure you're lined up, looks good. All right, to fasten this on, you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, front and back. And you're gonna use these big ones, the biggest bolts that you got, the biggest nuts that you've got, and the biggest washers that you have. And also here's a lock washer on the other side. I think we use those too, stand by and I'll confirm. So yeah, you're gonna use these eight bolts. So here we go. And 
grab our biggest lock washer. Or not. We got our washer on there. Drop it in. I'm just gonna put all these on right now. Okay, lock washer, nut. Again, lock washer and nut on this side. Don't tighten these up all the way yet, there's no reason to. All right, so this is what we got. Let's try to sand this up just on its side and we'll do the opposite side here. Just like that, everything's staying put. Now we'll do the bottom. There you go, so that's what they're gonna look like on each side. Side to side, remember this is the top. See our hardware starting to dwindle down, that's good. These are gonna be your stands. Let's go ahead and get those on. All right, well I don't mean to do this to the guy, but I actually gotta take these off because these this part of the H-frame goes right there, so my apologies there. Working through it, I guess. You are also going to want to grab your washers. You got four washers here. So you're going to go bolt, washer, and the other side will be lock nut, and then nut. It actually doesn't really hurt to put it together this way. It keeps it so you can stand it up. We're going to use that as a good excuse, how about? That one's biting down. Next one. Bolt and washer, lock nut, and nut. All right, still going to tighten it down all the way because we're going to put on these brackets. We're going to have four of these brackets. Two on each side right here, right there. And on the bottom side too, the, uh, the opposite side. The curve down according to this is going to go right up top. The 90 degree angles, maybe down here. This is going to be where eight bolts go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep following your same concept. You've got your bolt, your washer, your lock nut, and your nut.
Okay, at this point we're ready to stand up the unit. All right, as far as the bottom goes, we're gonna leave those not tightened all the way. As far as up here goes, we can tighten these up all the way. Let's do that. These are 24 mil. Okay, let's show you this. Here's how your press pushes down. You're gonna take your 20 ton bottle jack, that's heavy, and it's gonna have one bolt hole that lines up with this one right here. So we're gonna set that on there. And the hardware that we use is uh, very little for that. You don't even have to use the Allen side. Now it's not wanting to tighten up, so we'll pick this up. This is a number five. Go. And there it is. Your springs are going to attach right up in here on each side. There's one. There we go. I got these both, both facing forward. All right, we're gonna take our two hooks and we're gonna put these on to the bracket that the 20 ton bottle jack is sitting on and I'll show you. Just like this. Got a little nut, big hook. There's one. That's looking better. Get in there. Loosen this up a little bit. Get it. There we go, two. You got these two bars that come together actually. Just click it in together. Got your bar. All right, and this part here is the last part. It's kind of interesting, but slide your two bars in, set it down. You're going to put your bolt through, depending on where you want it set. I'm actually going to go one lower. Heavy on the fingers. Come around the other side. Your bolt comes through the other one. Here we are. Then on the other side here, you've got a nut washer, lock washer. And these are gonna go on the inside here, these sleeves. So, do this without making it fall down. All right, so you got one bracket on one side. You got your long bolt. Go ahead and drop your washer down on it. Come right through. You got a sleeve that's gonna go on. Done. And then, there we go, just like that. Lock washer and nut. Same with the other side. Bolt, washer, sleeve, lock washer and nut. Two plates. You've actually got two 
little nuts left. And those are gonna go right on those hooks right here. So they're gonna be able to lock together. All right, double bolted. Those aren't gonna be able, for double nutted, they won't go anywhere. And that's it, it's all together. Moving down slowly but surely. Got our plates right here. It's nice that they include those plates, that's great. So all in all, it's a very easy install. Really helps if you organize your hardware right off the start. Take all the nuts and bolts and washers and lock washers out of the bag and just put them in piles. They're all, I mean, there's little groups of all of them right there and you can tell easily which ones go together. I hope you had a good day. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for watching Two Stall Garage's videos. Go on over to Facebook if you want to. Give our page a like. It's at Two Stall Garage without spaces. The number two stall garage, just like on the introduction. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.